We're going to replace this weather stripping here. You can see it's pretty bad. First thing you want to do is peel all this off. We're actually going to take a vacuum, and as we're peeling this off, we're going to suck all these pieces out, and then we'll pull the strip out here. I feel like the easiest way to get that rubber molding off is we just take a plastic fork here and turn it sideways so you don't scratch the paint up, and just kind of push on that, and it'll release that glue. To get the weather stripping out, the first thing I did was just pop this guy up here, just left it propped up. Now this was a little tricky here. The way that you're going to get this strip out is you just need to get you a pair of pliers. I use these locking pliers here, and I just affixed them on the end, and then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate this back. Be really careful not to break anything, such as your windshield here. When you rotate this back, the whole strip will come right out. Be sure you get all of this residue off right here as well, so that way we get a really nice tight fit with the new weather stripping. To put the new strip in, you're going to need to pull the tape right here. You'll see this little channel right here. And then all you're simply going to do is, you're just going to take that channel and you're just going to rotate it and it'll snap right into place. Now for some reason, the adhesive piece of the weather stripping does not hold. This is 30 pound double sided tape and all I did was just cut some small little pieces and put it back underneath there. You're good to go. There you go, that's what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. Thanks for watching.